going to look at calculating the pH of weak acids and bases. Now, if you recall, we calculated the pH of some strong acids up until now. Um, an example of that would be hydrochloric acid, which dissociates into H plus and Cl minus. The steps involved in doing those calculations were, first of all, work out the molarity of the hydrochloric acid. In some of the easier examples, that molarity would have been given to us. Um, in some others, we had to work it out from the grams per litre or for the grams from the grams in 200 centimetres cubed or something like that. Then look at the equation to see what your mole ratio is. In this case, it would have been easy with uh, one hydrochloric acid dissociating to give you one mole of H pluses. And use this to get the hydrogen ion concentration. That's the H plus concentration that we would have had then in our pH formula, which I'm sure you'll remember is pH is negative log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, so how does that differ from a weak acid or a weak base? So let's consider the example here of ethanoic acid. Now, ethanoic acid is a weak acid. It dissociates into a CH3COO- and a H+. However, it is not true to say that one mole of ethanoic acid would give you one mole of hydrogen ions, even though you have a one is to one ratio. Um, because CH3COOH is a weak acid, it doesn't fully dissociate. Um, how does that affect us then when we're doing our calculations? Well, basically it gives us an extra step. We work out the molarity of the ethanoic acid, just like we did before, but then we need to factor in the extent of the dissociation, and that's given to us by the equilibrium constant Ka for the expression. Um, now, usually that'll be given to you in the question, and you will just have to factor it into your calculations. Then you'll go on to look at your mole ratio in the equation and use that to get the hydrogen ion concentration and put that into your pH formula. So what does this Ka look like then? Um, if you remember back to our equilibrium constants, if you had your um, ethanoic acid reaction there, so your CH3COOH, and it is dissociating into a CH3COO- and a H+. Our equilibrium expression for that and our equilibrium constant would have been given by the concentration of the products, that's the CH3COO- multiplied by the H+, over the concentration of the reactants, ch 3 COOH in this case. And because this is a particular type of equilibrium, it's a dissociation, we call that Ka. And Ka is called the dissociation constant. Now, for a strong acid like your hydrochloric acid, that Ka would be a high value. And so it wasn't involved in any of our calculations up until now. However, for something like ethanoic acid, which is a weak acid, it's quite a low value. Um, which effectively means, if you remember back to our equilibrium, that the equilibrium lies considerably over to the left-hand side for this weak acid. It doesn't dissociate to a large extent. Um, now, for the calculations, that just means we have to factor in the Ka, which will be given in the question. So let's have a look at how we do that. So the formula for working out the hydrogen ion concentration for your weak acid now is the square root of that Ka, the acid dissociation constant, which will be given in the question, multiplied by the molarity of the acid. Um, so in the next video, I'll look at a couple of examples of that for you.